my lovelies. Today I'm coming at you guys with my basically review on her given hair. Is this big hair you see right here? This is totally different from what you normally see me in. Whatever I do extensions is usually pretty much in the same genre. But this time I went all out and I was like, you know what? I want an afro. So that is what I did. And I dyed it all types of colors. And I think it's pretty cool. Like I've never do color like ever because I'm like super scared of it. But I'm like pretty proud of it and I hope that my lighting picks up the color of this hair. If not, I will of course attach pictures to this. But pretty much like it was a super edgy look that I wanted to go for. And I said, you know what, why not? So this is her given hair. It's three bundles, one 20 inch and two 22 inches. And um, I pretty much use all three bundles. My head is huge. This is the full unit that I've been sewing down. And if I feel like taking it off, like after a couple days, I'll take it off. Um, so if you've seen this, I posted a couple pictures on my Instagram. Um, I didn't post it as much because I kept forgetting to take pictures. Like, I don't know what was wrong. But basically, I just want to do a quick review of this hair. Just let you guys know what I think of it and how it's been for me thus far. So you know there's a whole boom with, you know, getting natural hair textures to match your own hair. You know, because some of us are growing out our hair. We just want a little bit more length, you know? So basically, Her Given Hair is a company that's allowing us to do so, add volume to our hair, or just like me go all out and just, you know, do what you gotta do. So upon sewing this in and, you know, dyeing it, well, bleaching it, the hair was very soft. So as you can see, the hair looks beautiful. It has a nice sheen to it, and pretty much it's just very good at matching our texture, or this texture if you have this particular texture. I love the ends mostly on these bundles just because it mimics my hair perfectly. So I love the ends of it. The curl pattern is a lot looser than my normal pattern, but the bottom is literally, it literally mimics my natural curl pattern. So the top is a little bit looser. If you have a similar pattern to mine, you may have to work a little bit harder just to blend the top, but it shouldn't be that hard to get it to blend. Okay, so as far as when I bleached the hair, it literally had no problem lifting. Like, I did the 45 minutes and I had no problem with getting this color. I'll probably attach a picture just so you guys can see what it is because my lighting today is just, it's not on my side. But basically, I had no problem lifting this hair. I, I deep conditioned it after and was able to comb through my hair with my face was able to comb through the hair with my fingers with no problem. It literally was like super simple. Um, I did experience some shedding, so I will um, attach some pictures. Um, I would say it was a good amount from each bundle, probably like a good palm size, but since then I haven't experienced any shedding. Like literally I could like go through this. I have two hairs, literally. And that's me vigorously pulling on it. So as far as shedding goes, I would say the shedding is pretty, amazing actually I feel like you experience most of the shedding from the first time that you wash it versus your days going after so as you can see I obviously brushed out the curl pattern but I did keep a couple of them pretty much intact so you can see what the texture looks like it's pretty much like this after drying so it doesn't really change um, patterns as far as after it dries it pretty much stays the same um, which is really good. I mean, it pretty much shrunk a little bit, but not major. So I would say that mine stayed pretty, pretty much the same. I am rocking the coily texture. This texture is supposed to match 3C and 4A hair. Um, there's also two other textures, which is the kinky texture, which is for your 4Bs and your 4Cs, and then the curly texture, which is for anything above 3C. So as far as the volume of this hair, as you can see, it can get very, very big. So I didn't go for the defined type look with this. I really wanted an afro, so that's what I did. Um, but basically, this hair gets super big, y'all. Like, so three bundles is enough for a big head. Like, if you have a big head like me, you will be okay. 
But if you have like a normal size head, I would say even two bundles looks fine. Like it's literally enough hair. Now if you like more of a defined type look, I would say get three bundles just to be on the safe side. So as far as blending, like I said, it is a full unit, so there is no part. But as you can see, here is my hair. I have my hair nicely um, slicked down just because I like it that there's no defined part. So then it just kind of looks like it's just a full head and everything just covering over. So that's how I chose to blend my unit because I wanted it to be more of a protective style versus me having a weave out and having to deal with just that part. Now as far as tangling goes, this hair mimics natural hair so let's not act like natural hair does not tangle. This hair is gonna tangle, okay? I have some tangles in there but I mean what do you expect? I picked that out in a fro. I'm constantly in the wind. I'm constantly playing it. I'm constantly doing this. So it's like, I'm not really like expecting it not to tangle. Now, as far as when it was in its natural state, like how it was sent to me, I had no problem putting conditioner in it and running my fingers through it. It's just your preference, whatever style or way you want to wear the hair. So pretty much my maintenance of this hair has just been either taking it off or wrapping it at night. And it's literally been no problem. I literally just fluff. And like the bigger the better. Like you guys are probably like, oh my god, I've never seen you like this. This is like crazy. But like, I don't know what came into me. Like I just wanted a blonde fro. Like I literally wanted a platinum one. I don't know what <laughs> got into me. But I just really wanted a fro. So as far as the maintenance of this hair, I don't think it was difficult at all. It's pretty much like the same. I try to co-wash it as much as I can, um, just so it doesn't like, you know, get build up and sweat and all those things. Because that is what keeps the longevity in your hair and it keeps it from tangling as much because you're washing all the dirt out of it. But my experience with this hair so far is it's definitely a bold statement piece. Like literally, this hair like does all the work for me. Like literally. I mean it's like it's the, like the most, the most statement-ish, that's not even a word, but basically it's like literally like a pow hairstyle and like I'm enjoying it and I'm rocking it and I'm doing what I have to do. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to check them out. I'll leave all the information in the description box below. And um, don't forget to check them out on Instagram. It's at Her Given Hair. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's at Jamexican Beauty. And if you need to talk to me or communicate, the best way to reach me is Facebook.com slash Pocahontas Naga. Let me know what you guys think of this hair. It's literally... I felt like that plane was passing for like 10 minutes. Like, it took so long. But, <laughs> anyways, let me know what you guys think of this hair. It's definitely something different. You guys have never seen me in hair like this before. But, let me know what you guys think. And like usual, have a marvelous day or night, whatever time it is. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.